Um, we're back in the garage and as you can see we've got a um, yeah we've got a 470 in here and as you just seen uh, we're doing a snorkel on it today and as you've seen <laughs> it has it's the eBay snorkel and there is absolutely nothing wrong with the eBay snorkel I have an eBay snorkel um, for a snorkel just needs to do one thing bring in higher air and, and keep you dry and whether it's Safari or whatever high-end brand there is or a eBay one there is there's they do the same job uh, they're both you know pretty high quality plastic in all honesty uh, if I'm not mistaken I have this exact same snorkel on my forerunner um, so <clears throat> we're doing an install on today we're also going to be doing a diff breather on the on the front differential uh, the only problem with the eBay snorkel there's only one problem with the eBay snorkel one one problem the price the price is right I think it's only 70 bucks the uh, that old template right there that template no bueno. It leaves a lot to the imagination. Um, yeah. And when you're getting ready to cut into, uh, you know, your own fender, it's not quite a big, quite as big of a deal. You're like, you know, if you mess up at your own, it's not that big of a deal. And you can live with a lot of things when you're doing it on your own. But when you're doing it for a customer, you want to make sure it's right. And when you're cutting into a Lexus, you definitely want to make sure it's right. So anyways, it's, you know, Measure once, cut three or four times. I mean, measure three or four times, cut once. Something like that. But anyways, we just got the, uh, you know, the uh, he got the airbox out. And I, I, we believe we've got this in the right place. And I wanted to give a little helpful hint here. Magnets, man. Magnets are a very underrated tool. It leaves no scuff marks, obviously. Uh, and it, it holds it firmly in place. I mean, I, it's, there's no moving that. Obviously, you know, you can use painter's tape and whatnot. And, it pulls off cleanly, um, but magnets. These magnets I bought two pack for 99 cents at Harbor Freight. It, um, it's a good, helpful hint just to let you know. But uh, I just got the inner fender liner down. They had so I wanna so that right there has got to come out obviously, and we're gonna gonna be replaced. But uh, we're gonna we're getting ready we're getting ready to cut something. They just had to run to the store and get some more parts. But uh, yeah, follow along on the journey. Yeah. 
I do, I can't see my face, what I'm gonna do is take some fingernail polish. I'm gonna put it on the ends of these bolts that turns around. There's an Allen head on the other side, there's a flat spot on this side. I'm gonna put a little dab of fingernail polish on this, and I'm actually gonna push it on the fender, and this should give us our spots to drill. Well, as you can see, it's uh, it's gone. It's out of the garage. Um, 
had another happy customer. Got the snorkel all installed, looks perfect. I couldn't be happier with the way it went and the way it, it all laid out. It was perfect for not having any freaking instructions with it. Um, but it worked out great. He's a, another happy customer. We also did a front breather on it. The front breather was kind of a pain in the butt, honestly. It's just in a bad spot. Um, we were going to do a transmission one, but it uh, turns out it doesn't really need a transmission one. Um, however, well, there's still a thing that Overland 573 can do for you guys. If you guys need a, uh, need a snorkel installed, you know, for snorkeling. Yeah, hit your boy up. Now hit all hit all of us up. Me, Kyle, Brandon, we uh, we can take care of you. This uh, this whole 80 series that you guys have been seeing, and uh, all the stories and reels for uh, for a while now. That's that's about ready to be gone. That's about ready to leave the garage. Just a few more parts we're waiting on to get uh, shipped in and installed, and she's gone. Not gone, gone, because they're local to us. So it'll be fun. They'll be uh, he'll be out riding with us. If you haven't checked out the latest podcast. Uh, Life with Lefty is the name of it. That's the uh, we interview the owner of this 80 series here. Uh, the audio is shit, but it's a good interview. Um, he gets all over the place. But anyways, uh, I try to take some drone footage of like some B roll, you know, of this uh, that Lexus leaving the uh, garage. But I'm pretty sure I uh, pulled an Eric on it. So. Uh, We'll see. Anyways, till next time, catch you outside.